Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, hey, I wanted to record a message for you to get you started on your first night. Uh, just uh, run about and clean up the muck around the place. And uh, please, leave at 6 a.m. sharp. We don't want you uh, staying there because we're not paying you overtime. Yes, that is right. Today we're taking a look at the Earthrise Battle Chargers Run Amuck and Run About. Now these little dudes are considered the worst G1 toys, so let's see if their modern interpretations are as bad. Spoiler alert, they're not. But uh, first, let's start with the accessories. They both come with a gun that's shared between them. The only difference is one is red and one is black. However, Runabout comes with an additional weapon. A second run good, presumably to make his rifle, because Runabout had a rifle and Runamuck had a pistol. And all the guns can peg anywhere on the 5mm ports on the figure, so you know you can go wild, really weaponize them up. Now onto the main bots themselves, starting with Runamuck. He is a fairly basic white Decepticon car former, with purple eyes and some gold highlights, and the Decepticon tampo on his chest in the same purple as his eyes. But other than that, he lacks almost all paint. Not to say that it's bad, he looks incredible and simplistic, and his head sculpt is really blocky and cool, it's just strange that the figure has no paint. And actually, that's a topic I want to discuss. I can't tell if he's got paint on him. Like, he feels very smooth, and not like any other Earthrise figure I've handled. It's really interesting. Next up is Runabout, and this mean machine is decked out in an all-black look. Really killer. With red highlights and a similar Decepticon tampa with a white border. In addition, his helmet is a new mole, sporting a gunmetal face and sharp edges. I really like this one a lot more. He looks a lot better than Runamuck. And now on to articulation! It's pretty good. A little limited, but you can pull off almost everything you would want to. A note about Runabout, though. Out of the box, his head was super stiff. I recommend heating the figure's joint with a hairdryer before moving it, or you could possibly shear off the peg. Because, you know, he's, his head is painted with glossy paint, and that could shear off the ball peg. Now on to size comparisons. They're about average deluxe size, maybe a little bit smaller, but uh, that's fine. And they scale well with pretty much everything else in the line. And here they are with some other car formers. Now on to transformation. It's not that fun, but not hard, of course. It's a chuck figure. So I'll manage. Just make sure you tuck in that head so their chest isn't grinding on the floor when they're a car. Because, you know, that chest really just does not want to push in all the way. And it just, it makes the car mode uneven. So trust me, just push it in. And here they are in their fantastic car modes with some great paint, but let's take a look at them individually because, you know, the Battle Chargers have really cool alternate modes. Let's start off with Runamuck, and he is a very basic white Decepticon car with a purple Decepticon tampa on his roof and some gold highlights and white rims and a gray plastic windshield. He also has some red lights in the back, so, you know, that's nice. Runabout is very similar but all black with red highlights, and the same purple Decepticon tampo, but with a white border. Runabout also sports a red windshield, as well as the red backlights. And of course, being the War for Cybertron trilogy, the accessories can be plugged in on top of the car for storage and some awesome weapon decos. You know, just just a fun weapon mode. There you go. Weapon on a car. Doot doot. And that has been my review of the Earthrise Battle Chargers, a fun addition to anyone's Decepticon cast and, a, and great for some comedic flair in your collection. So yes, I highly recommend them. Thanks for watching. See ya, see ya.